guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to go through all the tools that I use in order to create a website faster and easily. So the very first tool, which uh, I like to use uh, with uh, clients, and by the way, I'm working 100% remotely these days, uh, and uh, essentially this tool is uh, really helpful to manage the project from the high level and uh, this uh, is Trello. So essentially the way that I work uh, in Trello is uh, I would create a board for each and every client uh, and uh, what I would do is to divide uh, the space into three columns. The to-do, which uh, of course lists all the items that uh, are still uh, needs to be done and uh, the doing and done. So very easy easy you can easily keep track of everything you can add uh, files in there you can add comments uh, keep track with the client uh, and of course uh, if uh, you need further communication you would just hop on a call and uh, that would be easy now the very next tool which uh, I like to use uh, uh, is Miro and uh, Miro is helpful specifically when it comes uh, to sorting out the high levels or creating, for example, uh, wire flows and just uh, understanding the flow in general of uh, and the architecture of uh, the website. After that, uh, I would uh, definitely use Figma for the very most part when it comes to the design process. But uh, even before I jump into Figma these days, uh, if uh, I am working on a website design project end to end, meaning that I'm also going to take care of the development part, uh, what I would do is, to, is a slightly different uh, workflow compared to if I was hired just for doing the designs. Because if uh, that's the case uh, and uh, the client is going to hire an external developer or have someone in their team uh, develop the website, uh, in that case, I can just focus on the Figma file, on the Figma designs, and essentially take care of that. But if I'm going to take care of the end-to-end -end full website process, what I would do is to already consider my options in Webflow, because for the very most part, I would use Webflow to develop the website. I think it's very easy. Um, platform uh, to use uh, considering uh, how much you can do with uh, uh, the tools that they have uh, at their disposal and uh, just a quick note uh, if you're new to uh, Webflow or website development in general and you need uh, a quick uh, website uh, done uh, or something that doesn't require like any code knowledge or any learning curve or almost pretty much uh, my recommendation would be to use Squarespace, but for client work, I don't really use it. Uh, um, I've just uh, used it in the past and it's something that I'd like to recommend. For the most part, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm using Webflow. And two of the tools which are super, super helpful when creating websites in Webflow is uh, first of all, flowbase.co. Uh, I really like the fact that they have over here like all sorts of different components they look amazing and uh, even if it's not what you're exactly looking for you can simply use this uh, and leverage them as uh, a base and then you can easily just just copy and paste it uh, inside of the webflow or even in the figma file and then you can tweak the designs uh, however you prefer on top of that uh, what i like to do is to also uh, check out uh, some of their templates or because uh, sometimes you're going to find some templates which uh, are pretty much in line with uh, what you are looking for uh, when it comes to the final outcome. So definitely check them out. Uh, and what I would do is to pair this uh, tool up with uh, Relume library. So sometimes I'm going to um, not be able to find something in a flow base, which uh, I uh, want to use as an asset. So whenever I need to fill in the gaps, uh, what it would do is to go on uh, a Relume library and uh, basically search it from here since uh, it's uh, very similar to Flowbase as a concept, meaning that there's multiple components that you can sort through. These ones are more in a wireframe uh, style. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's, more, it's more of a wireframe and uh, you have a lot of variations. That, that's definitely like one of the advantages of uh, uh, of Reume, nothing taking from uh, uh, from Flowbase, an amazing library, but it, the, just the sheer amount of uh, uh, options that you have is uh, really cool, plus the filtering. So this is uh, pretty much it uh, for uh, this video, covers it, uh, and uh, in further video we're going to explore in more details.